Hi, I'm Ron. I'm a uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, more coffee. Hi, I'm Ron. I'm a lecturer in environmental and marine science here at UQ. And I'm here with Laura, who is a student in environmental science. And we're here together to answer some of your questions. Looks like I have the first question. So what is it about UQ's approach that makes us the most employable graduates in the state? Um, I, think, I think in the centre of it all, it's the integration. It's the integration of the technical, the academic knowledge, um, and all of that learning, but it's integrated heavily with exposure to industry, with exposure to people who will actually potentially employ you. And so we have a number of courses, for example, where you, on the one hand, do an internship, where you literally go and work in an office, work in industry um, with the people who will potentially be your future employer. And so you really learn the sort of on the job skills. And at the same time, all of the technical academic work is tailored to dovetail into that. And so there is a, a very strong effort to integrate those two, if you like, sides of what you learn at UQ. What does a day in the life of an environmental science student look like? A day in my life would probably start with some lectures in the morning, maybe based on biology usually, and then we have three hour practicals from there where we look at plant biology or soil science, and then some more integrated tutorials in the afternoon and then some more lectures to top it off. What is the most interesting thing you've learned that has not been part of your coursework? The most interesting thing I would have learnt would be from one of the seminars I attended through UQ. So we had something that was talking about the underwater volcanism and the processes around hydrothermal vents. So that was really interesting as well. All right, for you, what opportunities do your students have to get hands-on experience in our industry? Um, there are a number of courses where uh, students are proactively exposed to industry. And that can be where they undertake um, a team effort to solve a real problem for a real partner, um, a real client that might be a local government agency or it might be a not-for-profit um, management or environmental group. Um, but at the same time, they then also uh, have the chance to participate in an um, internship where they're actually placed in industry and they work um, at the tasks, in the job, um, that they might aspire to do. What are some of the coolest jobs your former students are doing? Well, um, I have a number of students that have gone off to do some really interesting things. Um, so some of them, of course, have gone off to work in consulting companies, for local government, for um, state and federal government. For example, one of the students is now working for the Auditor Generals in uh, Canberra. At the same time, um, some of the students have gone off, there is one that's gone off and worked for WWF, there's another one who's gone off to work for the Pew Foundation, which is an international uh, philanthropic foundation um, supporting environmental um, issues. And then, of course, there was another student that went off and is currently working for United Nations Environment Program. And so there's a whole range of opportunity out there that students seem to be quite easily slotted into. Yeah, it sounds quite amazing. What are the most valuable skills you've learned as part of your degree? Some of the most valuable skills I would have learnt would definitely be some of the hands-on practical experience we get. So I never expected the amount of field work that we do get to do with UQ, as well as uh, the laboratory techniques that we get to learn. So it's really valuable the statistical knowledge I now have, as well as uh, some of like the problem solving that we've done in classes with that hands-on work. What do you think employers in your industry are looking for? I mean, how do you think UQ has equipped you with these skills? Some of the most important skills I think employers would be looking for is definitely work experience as one. So we have different internship opportunities through UQ as well as some work placements that we can find in the programs. And other things would definitely be the communication skills that you get through group projects as well as some of the solo work you can do with research as well. If you could give me one piece of advice that would set me apart as a job candidate, what would it be? I think it's to be open-minded in your approach. Um, of course, in any interview, you have to be clear and you have to be upfront with what you know and really make obvious what your strengths are. But in general terms, I think you have to be open-minded to solving problems in new and different ways. Um, it's about being able to really take knowledge and the skills you have and being innovative. 
So that inherently means being open-minded to a different way of doing business. What makes a good student and are they the same things that make a good job candidate? I think they strongly overlap and I think central to that I'd make a few comments. I think one of the things you really need to make sure is that you are actively engaging. Participate. I mean UQ in particular works hard to open the doors, to make it easy, to make it possible to engage. And so it's really about taking that opportunity and engaging um, to make use of what's around you. You'll be learning in ways at university that you probably have never um, undertaken in high school, for example. Um, and so it's about being open to that, about being happy to adapt, being happy to take on new ideas, new knowledge, and then to use your own strengths and your own insights to test them, play with them, but be proactive. I mean, really engage in the learning process. You, I mean, clearly, as you can hear, nature's keen to participate in the interview as well. So environmental science is clearly a very important thing. <laughs> so it looks like I have the last question. What have you learned about yourself since you began your studies at UQ? When I started at UQ, I never thought that I would want to pursue postgraduate study. Mm -hmm. But now that I've been here and I'm going to be doing honours soon, I really think that having a PhD would be really useful or getting to do something in the field of soil science or plant research is really interesting to me. Also, while being at UQ, I've learnt a lot of different organisational skills from planning what you're doing with your timetable to making sure you've got everything prepared for your class as an assessment. I guess it's a resilient process with all your assessment tasks. Okay, thanks.